freshman year, you chose industrial engineering because you enjoy statistics but not necessarily calculus. And since industrial engineers can get hired just about anywhere, you figured it was good enough. Later in the year, you're slightly concerned because other engineering majors keep calling your field imaginary engineering. Right or wrong, you're still likelier to end up partners at a management consulting firm. Sophomore year physics and chemistry are behind you and you're leaning into probability and statistics one and two, industrial engineering design, occupational safety and ergonomics, methods engineering, and work measurement. You eat, sleep, and breathe data. Junior year, things are getting even more technical with programming and database applications, stochastic operations research, engineering economy, operations planning and control, human systems interactions, and manufacturing systems. It physically hurts when you can't get good data. Senior year, you now live your life by Deming's plan, do, study, act cycle and worship at the altar of Taiichi Ono. Courses are wrapping up with statistical quality design and control, system simulation, and finally senior design. At this point, you consider getting a jump on a Six Sigma certification so some nobody can come along and take your job. You're ready to enter the workforce to be either the boss or the lackey, which very much depends on what grade you got in speech class. Wherever you end up, you know that you'll 5S the crap out of your workstation. Follow Future Chemi for Engineering Info Daily.